It's our intention. Our intention is everything. Nothing happens on this planet without it. Not one single thing has ever been accomplished without intention. Instead of jumping out of bed and rushing right into the stress of what you need to do, breathe. Take a moment to eliminate the stress and realign your mind, body, and brain with the joy that does live inside you. You get to choose if your day is going to be like every other day or if it's going to be a great day. And you decide first thing in the morning by giving yourself that time to realign your brain to positivity, to redirect your mind to what is good in your life. What is good in your life right now? Take a moment to think about it. Start your day with intention. Today, I will be present. Today, I will be kind. Today, I will be the example I expect of others. Today, I will give my all in every moment. It's all about intention. When you direct your focus to the good, you will see more good. If your focus is directed to the stress and struggle, you will see more stress and struggle. If you want to be really happy, give thanks. That's the secret. Happy people are grateful people. So spend time in gratitude. Spend time in intention and expectation for what a great day today is going to be. Feed your mind with something positive. Read or listen to something uplifting. Something that will grow your mind or spirit. You attract your intentions. You attract your beliefs. You attract what you feel. So get up and feel good. When you direct your focus to the good, you will see more good. If your focus is directed to the stress and struggle, you will see more stress and struggle. That is your only job. Get up and get yourself feeling amazing. Ask yourself, how can I feel great today? How can I grow today? How can I make others feel great today? Open your eyes to the magic around you. I guarantee you, you have been missing out on miracles because you have been lost in the stress and noise inside your head. Get out of your head and get into the magic of life. Today is a new day, a fresh, clean canvas. You can paint whatever you want on that canvas, no matter what happens. You are the artist. Add some color, some joy, some life to your canvas. Leave nothing off that canvas. As soon as you get up in the morning, ask yourself, what's really important today? Is it important that I rush around stressed at everything I have to get done? Or can I just enjoy this moment? Can I set the tone for the rest of my day? You decide what kind of day you will have. Not what happens, but how you will respond to everything that happens. You can respond positively to any situation. Will you respond with presence? Will you see the good? Will you find a way around the obstacles? Will you write your own story or will life write it? The world sees you as much bigger. And when you can see yourself as the world sees you and not how you see yourself, is when you're going to go to another level. Let me tell you something. You got it. When you walk out of here, the way you see yourself is the problem. It's always a result of a commitment to excellence, intelligent planning, and focused effort. You're not going to be the best. You're not going to catch the best if you're not intentional and deliberate. And there are those of you in your, in your space, and whatever you're trying to do, you don't even represent the best in your space, and you're still not giving 120. You're trying to catch the guy. You're trying to catch the female. That's the best. And you're waking up and giving me 70%. You're giving me 80%. But yet you have these dreams that you're going to be the best. How? It's your dreams and visions. A man without a dream or vision should perish. That's what the Bible is built on. 
It's what God puts in your imagination for you to have. Everything God wants you to have, he puts it in your imagination. Albert Einstein said, imagination is everything. It's to preview to life's coming attractions. Everything you imagine is God showing you a preview of a coming attraction he has for you. And he puts it in your imagination so you can see what he got for you. So if you've been imagining that you're going to be rich one day, it's because God wants you to be rich. Now, when you going to ask him for it and are you going to wait for it to happen? Or are you going to lose faith? Here what Christians mess up at. Well, I guess it wasn't the Lord's will. Who are you? How do you know what God's will is? It all happens at an appointed time, but you have to stay in faith for the appointed time to happen for you. You, you can't quit, man. You got to stay with it. It's somebody having it way harder than you, and they didn't give up. That's inspiration. This dude is inspiration, man. God got a great life for you. I'm telling you, God got a plan for you that's so out of sight, it would trip you out. All you got to do is ask him for it and wait on it and be willing to work. Faith without works is dead. That's all you got to do. But God don't ask you for your perfection. He asks you for your consistency. There's none perfect, no, not one. Uh, two things, my dream and my faith. Faith is the belief in things that you cannot see. You can never lose faith. That's the key. You have to believe in something that you can't see. You have to believe when you can't, when you don't see no way how. You have to buckle down and keep believing. God is always coming. Here's the deal. The moment you ask God for something, he boxes it up and he ships it to you. Here's the problem with the package. He never gives you the date that is going to arrive. It's going to come. He just don't tell you when. If he told you when, it would destroy the relationship that's required to have an abundant life, which is faith. If God told you you were going to be rich in August of 2021, do you know how crazy you would talk to people from now until then? Because you know on August 21, I'm going to be rich. But he don't tell you when the package is going to arrive. So here's the deal. He wants you to stay in faith to receive the package because he only delivers to Faith Street. If you step off over here to I Don't See How Boulevard, he don't ship there. If you get over here to I Don't See How Circle, he does not ship there. He only sends the boxes to Faith Street. Total believer, yeah. I believe in uh, manifestation. I believe in uh, putting a rocket of desire out into the universe. And, and you get it when you believe it. You get it when you believe you have it. And that's the key. It's like people still, they sit around going, when's it going to come, when's it going to come, when's it going to come, when's it going to come? And that's the wrong way. You're, you're facing the wrong way. You're... You already know who you are. And that piece, that piece that we're after lies somewhere beyond personality. Your need for acceptance can make you invisible in this world. Don't let anything stand in the way of the light that shines through this form. Risk being seen in all of your glory. You are ready and able to do beautiful things in this world. You will only ever have two choices, love or fear. Choose love and don't ever let fear turn you against your playful heart. Spend your whole life imagining ghosts, worrying about the pathway to the future, but all there will ever be is what's happening here. And the decisions we make in this moment which are based in either love or love. So many of us choose our path out of fear disguised as practicality. What we really want seems possibly out of reach and ridiculous to expect, so we never dare to ask the universe for it. I'm saying, I'm the proof that you can ask the universe for it.